Today we celebrate the solemnity of the Assumption of Mary. Today, 17 of her brothers will profess perpetual vows in the Society of the Divine Word. I'm very, very proud and very, very grateful because this is a lot of families gathered there and they really support their son. They really support the young missionaries to proclaim their final vows for the Universal Church. I cannot wait this moment to profess my final vows and be ready for the next mission that uh, the society, the congregation gave, uh, gave to me already. The church in Indonesia has arrived at a new beginning. And nowhere is this more true than in the number of new priestly ordinations celebrated every year. Where once Indonesia was a missionary territory, dependent on outsiders for priests, now it generates its own priests, many of whom choose to work in missionary areas in other countries. To me, it's really amazing. There were 17 young missionaries proclaiming their final vows. But there's only three of them will work in Indonesia. But the rest, 14 of them working for the Universal Church, sent to Africa, sent to Latin America, sent to Papua New Guinea. Indonesia is a place of many complexities for its Catholic faithful who are a tiny minority and among the country's poorest. There are many who will see their vocation as working at home. I chose to be a diocesan priest because I came from the village and because of the need of the local people here in this local church. I always very, very much challenged by that. As a missionary, I do experience the, the contribution of other spirituality, especially Islamic spirituality. And a leader should be open-minded, tolerant, and should build up relationship with all the members of the society, not only the Catholics. My work is not only for the children, but also for the adolescents, for the adults as, as well. So basically my work is to raise up the spirit of all the Catholic people in Indonesia. The people are very open now, but they're very critical also. There are a lot of demands you know, toward the, the priest. They are trying hard in terms of preparing and the education of the future priests eh? to meet the need of the people. It's a big challenge for us. We have to be very well prepared as a priest. I go around Indonesia to train my staff so they have a skillful, catechetic knowledge in mission so they can educate all the Catholic people in Indonesia. Baik, saya di sini diangkat sebagai ketua. I have two kinds of jobs. As the community-based leader in this community, we have weekly prayer meetings here on Wednesday evenings. I am here also as the head of the Catholic Youth Organization in this base community, and we have a regular prayer meeting once a week. Baik. People need this kind of relationship with a qualified lay person, not only to talk to, but to be there in the everyday struggle of the people. 
The work of the Church of Indonesia is supported by the Society for the Propagation of the Faith through the generosity of its supporters, who in turn are enriched by getting to know the spiritual diversity of the world's struggling Catholics in Indonesia and elsewhere. That's what Propagation of the Faith supports, the development of people, men and women, in their spirituality and leadership, who can then preach, teach, evangelize, make Christ known to other people in the world. I want to uh, express my thank, thank you for propagation of faith, for the financial support. So thank you very much. God bless you. Thank you.